Good morning, sir. How are you all? Morning. Good, Jason. Good to speak to you this morning. What do you make of that last night? I'm ecstatic. I'm excited. I'm happy. We've got a manager that's a proven winner. I've been watching Spurs for God knows how many years, and I've watched us win basically absolutely nothing. I find it bizarre that we've got Conte, who, as I say, is a proven winner, and yet we're, we're kind of questioning his tactics. To me, his tactics are win a game. A game is 45 minutes each half. If we win it in the second half, great. That's fantastic. I'm happy. What's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with it, but I think a lot of Spurs fans would say, why can't we win games playing better football? Because it's possible. You don't just win by being pragmatic. You've got now a really good squad. So Arsenal um, play football in a better way aesthetically, but they're winning games. But Dan, it doesn't matter how you win. I think Jason's making that point. Um, The fact is you win. Yeah, it does matter how you win, yeah. Does it matter, Jason? No, no, of course it does. I've watched, I've seen Danny, I've seen people like Ginola, I've seen Ferdinand, I've seen all greatest players at Tottenham, Jurgen Klinsmann. But I know Simon Jordan, who, if he had a manager like that at Crystal Palace and they were third in the league and they were winning games, he wouldn't care if they were winning it in 45 minutes or 90 minutes. Would you, Simon? No, that they're winning. Yeah, Jason, but not from an, from an, own, that to Jason, from an own, Jim, no, from not. an owner's perspective, that's different. I'm talking about from the fans who pay the money to go and watch. But and Jason is a fan. Well, well, yeah, I, I know, but I'm talking about the majority of fans. We, we, we the listen. Majority of top, but then the majority of Tottenham fans need to take their head out of their backside, wake up and actually look at what's happening at Tottenham mm. and say, thank you. Thank you for giving us a manager that's a proven winner Thank you for giving us a stadium that we've got, the training ground, the infrastructure, and we're third in the Premier League, and yet we're having this conversation after we finish top of our group for the Champions League. Come on. Jason sounds like a fan right up your street, Oh, I think there's a lot to be taken from that. That's absolutely right. I mean, there is an assumption when Tottenham make a £130 million profit, as they did two or three years ago, that there should be an element of competitivity about them, an element of being able to, to be at the top of the Premier League. But I think there's a lot in what he's just said which is right. The only the only side of the argument that I would push back on is if you consistently start a game by giving your opposition an opportunity to take the game away from you, eventually games will be taken away from you. It's okay going 2-0 down against Bournemouth. It's okay going 1-0 down against Marseille because you, you've got the ability to get back in the game. There are going to be good sides that are going to put you to the sword from the get-go. And if you set these teams up in a way where you give teams a chance, better sides will run their sword through you. Well, Arsenal did, didn't they, to be fair? Yeah. They started the game really well, Arsenal, and Tottenham gave themselves too much to do. You know, it's 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 a mindset thing, really, from the players, where they, they, they let the shackles off subconsciously. When when you're losing, you just do, because you've got nothing to lose. But he's building a platform, isn't he, Conte? Yes, he's, he's, building, yeah. he's been there 11 months, and he's building a platform. Now, if Tottenham can get something under their belt yeah. and start a winning mentality, then they can flourish from that yeah. and well, start uh, to build a style of play that will also combine... Aesthetic appeal with winning ability. Yeah, I, I, I mean, let me make it clear. I think he's going about it the right way in terms of starting from the back, and then I want to see them evolve. I, yeah. I, I think be hard to beat, get a philosophy and a de- determination and a grit within the team, and then let your good players, you know, express yeah. themselves. Well, I think that's what he's doing, isn't he? I think so, yeah. and I hope so. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.